Hey guys, so just getting right into into it into this chapter. One thing I love uh, is how Mashima sets up the is how Mashima sets up the, 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 the prioritization of who to go after first. I mean, both Shur and Ziggy are both dangerous as it's as it's like laid out in this chapter. Both Shura and Ziggy are both dangerous, but if you if you weigh the choices, Shura is the is the more dangerous of is the more dangerous element, not not only because he has an entire fleet at his disposal, but just from the simple fact that he he's he's on a he's on a mission he's he's on a vendetta in order to destroy machines, it's it's completely counter to what Shiki wants to do. So by stopping him first, there so by stopping him first, there's it eliminates it eliminates the threat of of robots being destroyed, and it at least it at least returns. A bit of a chance of saving robot kind, even if even if Ziggy inevitably gains control over them. Now, how Shiki plans to actually go about creating peace between humans and machines after this is all said and done is another question entirely. I'm not sure how, but again, we'll we'll have to wait and see. Cause I'm yeah, I've got a couple ideas on how he could on how Mashima is probably going to do that, but. Uh, again, I don't know for sure. Um, one thing I also like is how at the end of the chapter, Shiki and, and Laguna meet with a giant cat named Goodwin, who obviously, as we can as we can presume, is like a crime lord. And what I love about this is that if I'm right, this meeting could potentially solve the the numbers problem that 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 Shura has over Shiki. Again, I can't. Again, I can't say for sure until next week, but it feels like Goodwin has his own like army, his own fleet. Otherwise, he he wouldn't be other, uh, other, otherwise he wouldn't be so confident, and, and, and Prince Laguna wouldn't wouldn't Prince even even bothered in order to take them in order to take them to take the Zero Crew to him. So, so yeah, I feel that I I feel that 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 Goodwin. Is, is is that that Shiki is, is if things if the negotiations go well enough, Shiki could could potentially have have his own fleet that, that he can use in order to in order to fight against in in order to fight against um Shura. And the thing is, whether he likes it or not, this is something sh this is something Shiki needs. Like in order to tr like he's he, he's kind of again, Laguna said it himself. Shiki is is a suicidal dumbass if he thinks that. If he thinks that he, he can take out he can take Shura out with, with just the numbers they have, no, you cannot. You still need you still need a strong um, you still need an army. At l you need still need at least a small army in order to stand a chance against against Shura at this point. Like he's got too much he's got way too much power at his disposal right now. Um, on that note though, let's talk about this new world we're in. Sandra and world design is not something I feel I've given much enough credit for, but I have to talk about it here at least because much like places like Sun Jewel or even from Belial Gore, this world just oozes, just just feels so alive. It just oozes personality, and it's not really through. And the thing is, in terms of the design design of the world itself, again, much like a lot of his worlds. It's pretty basic, but it's real, and, and it's not through anything major that this world stands out. But just, but it's more the little touches, the little details where, where, where this world really shows a lot of character. Like obviously the architecture is one, but even more than that, just seeing little things like the clothes people are wearing, or the creature, or the creatures themselves, like like that like that camelfish thing. Yeah, it's it's in those like little touch attention to de little attention to detail. Where I really feel, where I really feel the love that Mashma has when when creating these worlds and and these worlds that, that these worlds and these planets, um, like this 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 feels like a desert planet, not, not just in name. Like this is one of those times where obviously it's a desert planet, but it doesn't feel like j j j just like a desert planet in name and no name alone. Like it feels like a genuine like a genuine planet, a genuine planet that just happens to be desert. Just happens to have a desert. It just happens to be totally like sand and whatnot in the desert and all that. Um, in fact, one could really say the cover page for this chapter was intentionally on the nose. Like the the, the whole the whole like Alibaba like cover page. Yeah, 
I I think that that should have been a first indicator of what kind of chapter we we're gonna get here. Um, now I admit the the one the one thing I did have a problem with is the whole grandeur and appeal of the world is a little bit lost when 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 the Oasis like rebel group pops up and corners our heroes, and that it's it's obviously like a good introduction to to basically Goodwin as we learn, but it's one of those things where Oasis's clothes themselves feel very pedestrian. Like it's. Yeah, I, I feel that I've, it's weird to say, but I I wish I wish I wish the clothes that some of these people were that some of these guys were wearing was a little more felt a little more like mi, mi, felt a little more mi, like pretty much mixed in with the world itself. But it's like I'm okay with having a different variety of clothing they wear, but like just kind of mix a little bit more mix it a little more with the like with the actual aesthetic of the world is all I'm saying. Um, and okay, I've let it slide for a long time because I felt in some ways it was Mashima's like it was Mashima mocking how he implemented the friendship trope in Fairy Tale. But I'm really gonna need I'm really gonna need Shiki to grow this little quirk he has of cheerfully asking random people and thugs that if if they could be friends because it's stuff like this where I feel he lets down his guard the most. And fighting Shura, he cannot afford to pull shit like that because it can and will get. It's it's in this particular moment where I realize, for, for, for Purge's good nature, as I know Shiki is, and trust me, his good nature is one of his best qualities. But in this particular instance, in this particular case, his good nature is not the thing that that's that's really going to help him. Like if 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 Shiki if Shiki keeps pulling shit like that, Shiki cannot afford to keep pulling shit like that because it can and will get people killed. In fact. In fact, someone commented this on my review of last week's chapter, I think. But they said there's a possibility that one of the Star Shrines might die in this war with Shura. And while I kind of dismissed it, Majima has also proven he's not afraid to pull the trigger on anyone when things get serious. And while I, I still don't necessarily believe any of the Star Shrines will die, I think, if, I think it's a dangerous portent that they could possibly be... They could possibly end up severely damaged from this war. In fact, one of my fears, actually, after after like having this possibility implanted in my head, is that the aftermath of this huge war is the aftermath is in the aftermath of this huge war. One of the star shines will be so severely damaged that 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 she'll have to like transfer her consciousness to ship or something. And you pretty much know who I'm talking about with that, with with that. But yeah, um, but. I also, on top of that, I also like how we get a little bit of character demon for, for, for Rebecca in this chapter by her by her talking with uh, Laguna and saying, yeah, she's scared, but she still believes the cause the cause she's the cause is righteous and it is the right thing to do. So I, I like little I like little conversations like that because it shows that Rebecca as a character is growing. It's it's not always it's not always apparent, but it is there. Um, now with that said. Let's talk. With all that said, you can tell Shiki's little argument with Laguna and him like meeting with Goodwin that right now Shiki isn't exactly a very patient person. But again, I feel this this meeting could potentially be a very important lesson for for Shiki, which is that he can't punch his way out of everything or expect everything to go like his way. The number one thing, like the like, the, honestly, the number one thing I'm expecting out of this meeting with Goodwin is that one way or another, Shiki is gonna have to cut a deal with him, especially cons like especially considering that Goodwin has taken an, supposedly an interest in Shiki. Like, I think it's inevitable that Shiki is gonna have to like make some kind of a trade or make some kind of a of of an equal equal share deal with with Goodwin. That there's 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 no way that that's not gonna happen. Like if 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 Shiki wants wants like an army, if he wants if he wants the power to oppose Shura, then he's gonna need to make a deal with, I think, Goodwin. If not, and if not, then he can kiss any chance of actually defeating Shura goodbye. Like th again, there is no way that that Shiki can expect to pretty much like then she can even expect to just kind of like like just defeat Shura with the with the manpower and resources he has right now. He needs this. He needs this. He needs Goodwin's manpower right now. Um, so, so yeah, I, I, I'm. I'm just one of those things where I'm seeing a lot of potential for Shiki to learn a very important lesson right now, and how it's handled next week is what I'm, is what I'm paying attention to right now. But uh, yeah, guys, 
with that, that's all I've got for this review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Analyst or Control. Dead Night Enemy, signing off. Later all.